Yes, hello. This is Chris Burns, and this is the final anal analysis of the 2012 Topps Factory Fenway Park card set. And I can say it's a it's a decent set. And they had a few sticky cards, like you know the regular deck of cards. You're going through it like this. I mean, I way better than a 2001 set. Uh, didn't have to pick and peel out this set. Um, I'm going to give this set a thumbs up, finally. Uh, I do have a sadness. I had to replace the variation card for $25. Uh, you can see in the light, there's a ding from the, the top of the card on the edge right here. And then you can see the line if you really look closely. Um, this card would probably be a seven, and then his his other card, this right here, is probably going to be a three or a four. I mean, it, it, it the corner already showed this one. This one's just terrible, but those are going to be probably sellers when I when I sell my my cards. They're still looking for Mike Trout. If he's in the set, I believe he is. Albert Pujols was missing, so I ordered that. So I'm getting both the the Bryce Harper card, 661 and 661 variation. And a player by the name of John Lanneman, which I believe played for the Chicago White Sox back in the day. Can't firm or deny that, but it's that's number 186. So I missed four cards out of the set. Hopefully Tops will replace the one. If not, I'll get it on eBay, hopefully. Um, it's a great set. The cards look sh sharp. Uh, that's it. You know, like, dislike, send the video to other people. Tell them about the older guy that collects the sets, collects cards. Happy Hall of Fame and player uh, watching, collecting. Happy rookie collecting. Uh, this is my way of collecting rookies. Um, more to my story. I'm going to have 2017 go through. 2020 go through. Maybe I'll go through my 21 and 22 set. I know a lot of bit more about those sets because I have access to a lot of those cards and I know the rookies fairly well. Um, but they're not older sets. I would rather go through older sets. So, so good luck to trady, trading. Good luck to collecting. Uh, have high hopes that Fanatics actually does a good job with the takeover of tops. So far, so good. As far as I know, I'm under the impression that they're going to still continue to make cards with the Topps logo. And Topps will still be the beast. And when I say that, Topps will still be number one. Everything else is, is lower, with the exception of, say, hoops for basketball. Uh, that's just my theory. That's just my thought. But, you know, eventually somebody will give me a comment and... I'll be able to comment back and maybe we can talk about it, but you know, that's my that's my whole theory on that. Again, this is the 2012 Tops Fenway Park set. Four dings or four damages out of the whole set. That's not a bad percentage. Uh, I would advise anyone, if they want to buy this set, being it's 10 years old, to go out and buy it. Uh, buy it from a reputable dealer like Wowser on eBay. Uh, they're they're an extremely well company. I mean they, they even work with Walmart, believe it or not, as far as I know. Could have sworn I bought a few things from Walmart that are are uh, baseball card related, so that's it. Uh, like I said, happy collecting. Collect those Hall of Famers, collect those rookies. Look for the new players that are top notch potential. J Rod obviously from the Mariners. There's a couple of them out there. I don't know all the names, but, you know, I, I eventually will. Thank you. Good night.